Hey guys, it's Mike at Narcs Lifted Customs. Well, we finished the turbo build on the Narcs cart. I figured I would bring you a recap video of the entire hot side build of our C10 uh, Turbo LS truck Stanley 1966 GMC that we built right here in the shop. I wanted to show you guys that if I can do this, you can too. I know what you're thinking. What's he going to do with this gap? Well, that's where the wastegate's going to go. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Calm yourself. I'm going to basically cut a piece that will cover this and weld it around and on the bottom. Obviously, buying something is easier. Uh, the failure speed log manifold would have been easier, but guys, it's worked great. 1500 miles on the turbo setup so far and only gonna be more once we get some lifters put in, which is why you guys are getting some recaps of these older videos, these 10 minute style builds. <music> I've been working on just piping to try and get, pull it from here, out and down. Shaping the driver's side manifold was actually pretty tough, um, getting down in there and making sure that it fits snugly, uh, but was still gonna be strong enough to hold the pipe uh, all together. So you can see there, super high quality fab work. No. Bingo, bingo, perfect. The welder we use in this is just a Eastwood MIG 175. It has been an excellent welder for us. We have really, I mean, I built a cage with the for the Narcs cart with it. Uh, we obviously do this entire exhaust with it. It's been a great welder. I think it's like 450 bucks, plus all your gas and everything like that. It highly, highly recommend Eastwood products. We're working on the crossover tube here, okay? It's all about cutting, cutting in increments. Like, don't overcut stuff, because you can only fill so much with weld, or you have to go get another pipe, and then you're off by this much. Holy crap. Look at how almost perfect <laughs> I cut that. And then we'll just run a short pipe from here to here. Isn't that awesome? Man, this is gonna be so cool. It was great having this extra engine out of the out of the truck so we could really mock up this the easiest way possible, plus also drive the truck. This process took me about two weeks to build. about 80% welded and uh, it's in there and ready to go. I just, I want to pull it out to finish weld it, but I want to let it cool first so it doesn't like warp or anything like that. So. Guys, if I can do it, you can do it. I promise. guys look at this thing Phew. it's gonna be awesome and then gonna come right down there kabam
Okay, so this kind of gives you an idea of how it'll route out of the turbo. It'll turn down. I'm fixing to cut it here so we can extend it some and also spin this part of the pipe so we can get this down by the firewall. Okay, so the exhaust will come here and down and on the outside of the frame here, okay? And then we'll wrap down and under. All right guys, so we have the two and a half inch V-bands. Uh, we'll actually weld to right here. I'll probably just uh, slit this a couple different times and kind of crank it down there. Um, we'll come out with the two and a half inch back to this Magnaflow muffler that was given to us. All right guys, it's really that easy. Here's what I'll say. Jump in, build your exhaust manifold. If it doesn't work, screw it, throw it in the trash or hang it on the wall and buy one. Save the money. Oh, guys. Do it yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Passenger side is mounted. Um, it even clears way down there at the bottom. That's going to be awesome. Guys, no. Oh, guys, we are here. NWA Street Works. About to get the tune on for the old truck. Let me roll into it now. Give me one. You know, I knew. God damn, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. We post new videos on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday at 7 p.m. 